I'm in the Prince William National Forest. This is parking lot G, like George. Up there is Scenic Drive. Campgrounds up there to the left. And uh, it's a nice parking area here. And uh, down there in the corner is a trailhead that takes you down Mojave Road, which is that gravel road you see right there. So we're going to head down here to the left and follow this on down until we get to the south fork of Quantico Creek. And then we're going to hike for a few miles south on Quantico Creek down past the uh, dam and the lake recreation area and then back up in a great big loop up this way and back over to here. I think it's uh, about four miles. Four tenths of a mile into my hike, and I'm down to the uh, south fork of Quantico Creek. This is the uh, this is looking upstream. There's Mojave Road where I came from, and uh, I'm going to turn and head uh, downstream on this South Valley Trail here in a second, right there. There's Quantico Creek down, looking downstream. And then we'll, here's a, a, a bridge that crosses you over. This continues on to a couple of camps over on that side that you have to have reservations for. Uh, the first one's Camp 2, and then further downstream by the lake is Camp 5. We'll be going past them, but we'll be on this on this side of the creek. So gonna go over here and go down these steps and head on to start heading downstream on South Valley Trail.
nine tenths of a mile into my hike and this is the uh, lake it's an artificial lake over there is a uh, curtained off area for uh, swimming and uh, camp two is up there on the hill there's the rest of the lake it's an artificial lake and down that way ways is camp five and the dam itself is down that way we'll, we'll get down there eventually this lake, the dam was built by the uh, Civilian Conservation Corps back in the uh, 1930s. And then this lake was used for uh, recreation. Real nice. blown down trees from the storm One point two miles into my hike, and this is the uh, Lake Five Dam. Built back in the nineteen thirties. One point four miles into my hike. I'm just downstream of the dam. There's the dam up there. And the trail is over there on that side. And there's this footbridge that takes people over to this side and up that way to Camp 5. I just came down here on these rocks to uh, enjoy the view and uh, eat some lunch. It's a real nice day here today, about maybe uh, 50 degrees.
2.2 miles into my hike. I just passed my turnoff, but I came down here to get another look at the uh, creek down here at creek level. That's looking downstream. I'm standing on a rock here without falling off, hopefully. There's looking upstream. So I'm going to backtrack here 50 yards or so up that way. And well, actually, from here, I'm just going to go straight up the side of the, of the hill here. Back up to parking lot H. And then t turn left and head back up to parking lot G where my car is. This is a map of the hike. The quadrangle name is Joplin, 1997, and I hiked the South Valley Trail, which goes down the uh, south fork of Quantico Creek, and also hiked High Meadows Trail. This, this is part of Scenic Drive, which runs through the park in a, in a big loop. And when you come into the park down here, you come up and you go around in a counterclockwise fashion like this. So you go around a giant loop. And when you get over here onto the western side of the loop, you'll eventually find parking lot G. So you park right, right here in parking lot G. And then this is a gravel road called Mojave Road, M-A-W-A-V-I. That stands for, the, the M-A stands for Maryland, W-A is Washington, and V-I is Virginia. Mojave, it's a strange name. Anyway, you, you follow this down the side of the hill to here. Now there's a bridge that goes across Quantico Creek and takes you over here to camps number two, which is here, and then eventually over here to camp five. Okay, now these are camps. You need to have a, uh, a group uh, permit from the park to, to use these, and there's probably some rental fees associated. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, you do not cross over the bridge. When you get to the bridge, you just turn left, and this is called South Valley Trail. And you'll be following downstream Quantico Creek. And eventually this turns itself into this lake right here. And you just continue to follow this 
around until you get down to here. Now when you get to here, this is the dam. It's a concrete dam right here that creates the lake. And then just below the dam, a couple of hundred yards below the dam, right about here, there is a footbridge that goes across there, which actually will take, take you over to here, which is Camp 5. Now there's a sign on this side of the bridge that says, you know, don't go any further unless you have a uh, uh, group camp permit. But you can go across the bridge here, and there's, a, there's some good spots along through here where you can sit along Quantico Creek on large rocks and uh, eat lunch or just enjoy, enjoy the, uh, the day. So I went here and had some lunch back across the bridge. Then you continue to follow South Valley Trail down stream. Now once you leave the bridge, this turns into an up and down roller coaster kind of a trail until you get over to here. When you get to here, you'll see a concrete signpost that tells you if you go right, this is South Valley Trail continued, but you can turn left and this is called High Meadows Trail. Now this is a trail just basically through through the forest. It's up and down. And you keep following that until you get over to here. When you get to here, <clears throat> this is parking this is back puts you back on scenic drive. So just turn left and hike along scenic drive until you get back to parking lot G. As other ways to do it, you could park here in parking lot H, and you could do this first, uh, or you could uh, park here and, and you could do a, a clockwise loop like this. Okay. Also, when you get to here, instead of turning left on High, High Meadows Trail, you can continue to follow this all the way down to where Quantico Creek goes under Scenic Drive right here and then you can get on Scenic Drive and you can come back up like this. So there's, lot, there's, lots, of, uh, there's lots of different options in that area. Real nice hike. Uh, it's not real strenuous although there is some up and down. Uh, I haven't downloaded my GPS yet but it was about four miles. Real nice hike, and that was the hike for today.